Well, a super good morning to you all. Um, I thought it was time for another quick video message. Um, last few days and weeks, uh, I've been speaking with a lot of repairers. Great to see that that movement of, of people coming back to work and, and, and some at least some encouraging signs that things are beginning to move in the right direction uh, for us again. But it... It's definitely coming with its challenges. Um, as I've noticed uh, with some of my courses recently, um, though the, the changes in moods and feelings uh, right across the board from those that have worked throughout, those that are coming back from furlough, those that have worked at home, um, it's, you know, it's just been a real melting pot of, of feelings and emotions and, and, and personal adjustments that everyone is, is going through and experiencing for the first time in this particular way. Um, you know, feelings and emotions aren't new. We've had them forever. But this is a very strange time, strange set of circumstances. And it's, it's revealing things to ourselves that we didn't know, um, uh, just for ourselves, about each other, and about our in interaction in life and business, etc. So all of that culminated in me thinking, okay, I've got to try and sort of, how do I convey very succinctly, um, I think, some of the awareness that we really need to focus on uh, right now at, these, at this particular juncture. So it was really trying for the business owners to sort of say, this is a time where you really do have to focus on, on the culture of your business. I know we've not got the volumes, the repairs, we've got the challenges, insurance companies still not rewarding us uh, adequately for the work that we do. Um, we've got all the adjustments on parts availability, parts discount shifting, you know, a, a myriad of, of challenges and new challenges on top of the ones we already had. Um, but my message today to you is this. This is a time where despite all of that, all of that, I know that so many body shop owners have gone through so many challenges in their life and that they're, you guys are just a brilliant, high-energy, resilient, determined group of, of, of people and individuals. And you will need to call on all of those leadership skills right now. Um, not lose your patience, not lose your cool. You, your people are going to need you to be on your absolute A game. And you've got to start working on recognizing those little nuances, those shifts in behaviors, uh, really important. Um, step up to the plate on that one. Um, and start to think about the culture. Start to think about really harnessing the power of your people. Um, and key to that, I believe, is, is that... We are, we are as a species, we're going to look back, we're going to judge everything that we have against what we knew. That's our, our, our past was our, our safety zone, our, our, our measurement of, of anything, you know. So, so we have to compare and contrast. And so we've got this uncertain future and we want to compare it about against where we were and what we were doing then and when can we get it back to that. And you may never get it back to that. Aspects of it, yes, but... You may never get it back to how it was. So it's really important that you, you've got to create a picture, a picture in everyone's mind that where you're heading is infinitely better than what you left behind. You've got to really inspire your people to know that despite the challenges that we're experiencing right now, what lies ahead in three months, six months, 12 months is the place that we're going to feel that we've we've addressed those challenges that we're so far ahead of where we were that we've righted so many wrongs um, both internally and in strategically as well. So, guys, my message today really is it really focus on listening to those little nuances, those subtleties. They're super super important. How your people feel and how they are feeling will determine how they perform. Okay. So it, it is all connected in, you've got to create that belief system. You've got to get them believing that what lies ahead is better than what they're leaving behind. Once you've got the belief system right, then people's attitudes will start to change to, as to where you're going and they'll start to feel brighter and lighter and stronger in terms of where you're going. And then the feelings start to be, I can believe this. I know we're, this is going to be challenging right now, but we are going to get through this. Because ultimately, if they're not feeling right, you won't get the performance that you need. 
And the performance will come from how they're feeling and what they're thinking. And therefore, the thing that we have to do most of all is to get them knowing that by changing our culture, by looking at those subtleties and know that we can create a better, brighter future. Challenging right now, yeah, but you're going to get through this. You've got through it before. You know, this is just something new. We're learning, we're experiencing. You will get through it. Create the great culture. Listen to your people. Get them engaged and show them what lies ahead is infinitely better than what we've le we're leaving behind. That's all I can do, guys. Short message today. Hope that helps. Stay inspired. Stay brilliant. Talk to you soon. All the very best. Bye-bye now.